April 2009, and anti-terror officers raid houses and shops in Cheatham Hill in Manchester. One of those arrested was 28-year-old Abid Nazir, whose trial got underway in New York today. He's accused of being part of an al-Qaeda cell that planned terrorist attacks in Manchester's Ondale Shopping Centre, St Anne's Square and the Trafford Centre. Police were forced to round up the alleged plotters after they were overheard discussing dates for an operation understood to include the Easter Bank holiday, one of the busiest shopping weekends of the year. With this kind of attack, uh, intelligence becomes one of the only ways that we can stop it um, because a lot of times there's not a lot of pre-planning, there's not a lot of communication and things like that that happen in advance. If such a plot had been carried out, it would have been Britain's worst terrorist attack. There definitely would have been numerous deaths. The impact, the terror that this would have created in these particular cities would have been devastating to those cities' economies, to, to just the mindset of the people carrying on from day to day. UK police had originally been forced to release Nazir after his arrest in 2009 because of a lack of evidence. But he was re-arrested in 2010 at the request of American prosecutors and extradited to the US. Officials there linked him to another plot to blow up subway lines in New York. Tim Scott, ITV News. Well,